Hi guys, welcome today to my quick review of the Casio LCW M100 TSE 1AER. I had to read that off my monitor because that is a ridiculously long reference number. What matters is that this is a Casio lineage model, it is constructed in titanium, it is multiband 6 solar movement and it's got the cutout there which can be programmed to show the day date complication um, this one in my watch collection of about 25 or so watches this one is my favorite titanium watch there's just something about this overall package that i really like i love the dial um, love the way this thing wears it's super light and it's solar powered um, well with the multiband six um, it uh, it's just a perfect grab and go and I've, I've worn it a ton uh, in the last uh, two years or so that I've had this uh, and I'm just gonna talk today about uh, some of the the features of the watch some of the dimensions and details uh, one thing that I had to actually change out, uh, I'll show you uh, what I did there. Uh, and just hopefully this helps if you're thinking about purchasing this one. Uh, and if you're looking for any watch in in, <clears throat> in that price range, uh, this was about uh, 240 Canadian dollars. Uh, highly, highly recommend it if you're looking for a daily wear watch. There's a few reviews on this online. Um, the one I really liked was, I think it's Ben's Watch Club. Uh, he covers it off really well. But there was one shortcoming that I was able to address. And actually, I can start off with that instead of leaving that as a teaser to get you to watch my video like some people do. Uh, and that's going to be the clasp. And you can see this one is all scratched up. But this is a... Casio edifice clasp that I purchased from AliExpress. It was like 10 bucks or something. Uh, and it has made the watch a lot more wearable for me um, because it's got four micro adjusts as opposed to the one that comes on this watch. Uh, just has the two micro adjusts. So I wasn't able to get a good fit with this original clasp. There are no uh, half links either. So I ended up switching to this guy, uh, and it's been perfect. It's a perfect fit. Uh, it did take um, it did take a actually a split pin because I couldn't figure out how to install this section, uh, this side of the clasp. Uh, as you can see, the bracelet uh, link fits in perfectly, and I was able to use a split pin. Hopefully, you can see. Uh, that fit into this uh, this hole perfectly and that secures it from this side and The other side is just the 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 spring bar of course to be able to get the micro adjusts Sorry, if you can hear the crying baby in the background. My wife is just putting my son to sleep uh, So you can see here as I move the watch before we really dive into it. You can see all the scratches uh, the only downside with this clasp is it does scratch up that last last full link here and that other half link uh, there is a half link it's it's not a removable half link so i stand by my statement that there are no half links on this bracelet so that's the one upgrade that i did was the clasp now while we're on the bracelet it has a really cool mechanism to remove the links and it comes with this this uh, tool and basically and you can also just use a pin because that little protrude, protrude, protruding section in the middle is what fits in to the holes on the back of the links so here's a couple of links from this bracelet and to remove the link you basically just insert this tool into the hole and press it down and the links will then Sorry, it's, it would have to be this one, actually. I would have to press in on this one. And the link comes off. As you can see, when you press the pins, 
there's two uh, pins on the inside of the links and they get depressed when you push the tool into the hole. And when I remove it, they come back out. So that's what snaps into place on the center of the accompanying link. So great tool, so I'll just put it back together. Super easy to use, snaps in place and you're good to go. When I saw this first online, I thought, oh boy, that's gonna pinch hairs. And surprisingly, this watch has never pinched any hairs. So don't worry about that as I do have hairy arms, as you can see. And I'll do a quick wrist check while we're here. I've got this cheap quartz CWC military style uh, homage. Bought this off of AliExpress. Just a fun watch to wear. I love this case shape and it's got the orange dial and I've got it thrown here on a Borealis Tropic strap which you've seen in my videos that's uh, one of my favorite rubber straps so anyways back to the watch really cool bracelet comfortable to wear super light um, really I've, I've heard bad things about the bracelet but uh, I have had no issues with this bracelet with upgraded clasp uh, it's it's been great uh, it's got a decent drape um, the links are a little bit big but uh, there's not there's enough articulation for it to fit comfortably on the wrist now the links are super smooth so uh, sharp edges are just not even a concern here the way the bracelet is constructed it's pretty much rounded off they are hollow links technically of course it's jingly jangly uh, it's not trying to be a, a high-end bracelet, uh, but uh, they're just super smooth, comfortable on the wrist. And of course it's titanium, so um, it's not uh, it's not gonna cause uh, as much of a reaction to the skin as stainless steel does and doesn't heat up as much. Uh, so it stays nice and cool on the wrist. Yeah, and it, like I said, snaps right into place. You can get these off of AliExpress. You can probably just Google it and find these very common on edifice watches. And the bracelet also has uh, hollow end links. I've tried putting it on straps here and there. It doesn't look right on straps to me. To me, it actually suits this bracelet. And um, I think I've kept it on the bracelet. And here there you can see, I uh, can't help but uh, look at that dial, that gray color just looks much more expensive uh, than what you're paying for this watch. Um, that one feature itself, that being the dial, is probably worth the price of admission. It's got such a terrific gray, almost like an anthracite gray, but it's got a little bit of a sun ray pattern to it. Looks uh, really nice uh, in direct light uh, and in outdoor lighting, looks fantastic. Um, I won't go too much into the features. These are your classic four button Casios. So here you can see it's got the seconds uh, being displayed on the digital uh, readout. Uh, this has the digital time display. And then we're back to the day and date. That's where I've always kept it. Uh, this is uh, uh, a light for illuminating the dial. Now so that on that subject, surprisingly, the uh, hour markers and hands are loomed and the loom is actually serviceable. I was really surprised to see, but I can I can totally see uh, the hands and indices uh, in dark lighting. So that was a little bonus. I was not expecting the loom to even be serviceable, but it's actually uh, uh, it's actually decent. Uh, nothing like a diver, but uh, totally usable. And uh, while we're on the dial now, so you've got uh, a really nice design for the indices. It's got the double batons at 12 and then it's got the batons all the way around of course the bottom three are cut out there for that digital display digital to digital display to me uh i i do not mind it especially because i can get my day and date which i like to have on my watches um you can see the uh, really nice design on the hour and minute hands they just look so classy uh, i just love what they've done here uh, really classic uh, stick style uh, hands and then it's got the needle style second hand which hits every single marker on that minute tracker 
uh, just bang on on every marker. So great precision there. It seems to be something that Casio is really good at, which is great. It's got white printing uh, on the dial for Casio and Lineage. And then some of the text there in the middle, it says multiband six and then tough solar. The other nice touch is that minute tracker on the outside. Again, it's just such a great design choice because it just adds a little bit of sportiness uh, to the watch. And just that overall design just makes it uh, uh, perfect for everyday use. It's got just enough sporty touch and a hint of uh, dressiness uh, to be really appealing. And you can see that the minute tracker is on a sloped uh, kind of a rehot and then the dial is recessed a little bit. So just overall great design choices there. Uh, can't, uh, can't knock anything on the dial there. And covering all that is a sapphire crystal. And the sapphire crystal has a good anti-reflective coating. And I usually have no issues being able to, um, being able to see this dial uh, in most lighting conditions. Uh, they've used a terrific sapphire crystal and it sits slightly proud of the bezel. Now moving on to the bezel, the bezel is a nice size. I, I'm not a big fan of big bezels, big sloping bezels. And this one is perfect. It's got a nice small bezel and it, uh, uh, it uh, is, uh, uh, slopes down into this circular brushed top of the case. So the top of the lugs are circular brushed. There's a little side section here that's circular brushed and, uh, and it goes all the way around to the other side of the case. And then it's actually got a nice little bevel that dips down uh, to the bracelet. And the bracelet is, uh, it's, it, the bracelet finish is different than the circular brushing on the case. It's not a perfect match, uh, but the bracelet has that uh, kind of a, uh, almost like a satinized finish with the polished uh, two sections in the centers here. Overall, just uh, I, like I said, you can probably tell, but I, I love the design of this thing. Now on the sides, we can see, of course, being titanium, it's uh, definitely picked up a few scratches. The sides are polished. Polishing, uh, not, not the highest quality looking polishing does look a little bit cheap, uh, if I'm being honest. Um, polishing is not like a Seiko, for example, that you'd find in this price range. It it does it has kind of like a orange peel effect. Um, if you're not familiar with that, it's it's like a, a little blurriness uh, that's uh, in in the polish sections. It's a bit blurry instead of being uh, very mirror polished. It's got kind of a blur to it. And again, the quality of the finishing of the bracelet, of course, it's, it looks, it does look cheap. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Um, comfortable, but uh, does not look expensive. Comfortable and fits well, but uh, you're not going to confuse this for a high-end bracelet or, or, a, or high-end case for that matter, especially if you're looking at it from the sides. The dial, though, is uh, what you're paying for. The dial and, of course, the movement. So speaking of the movement, we can now take a quick look at the case back. So hopefully you can see here. So it's got a whole bunch of text on it, but basically it's just telling you that it's got uh, uh, sapphire crystal and it tells you the movement, which is the multiband six and it's tough solar. So this is going to be atomic clock. And uh, right now it didn't sync, but uh, most nights I'm located in Vancouver, BC. In Canada and most nights is it does sync uh, there's a little indicator that shows up below the date when it has synced to the atomic clock overnight I believe it's 2 a.m. Pacific time that it does that uh, but don't quote me on that uh, but anyways when I look at the date there's a little bar underneath it that shows up if it did sync to the atomic clock overnight and like I said most days it does sync so I've never had to change the time on this which is which is great um, and I can just pick it up and go so we'll do a quick wrist shot before we end uh, and we'll also do some quick dimensions actually 
Uh, there are a few reviews available for this watch, but uh, I'll just give you my dimensions as, as I measure them here. So the case, it's just under 39, and I'm being careful where to measure it because both of the sides have a bit of a hump. If I measure on the two humps, I don't know if they're humps, that's just what I'm calling them, I get just over 39. Yeah, over 39 and a half on the, on the humps. It, it definitely wears like a 39 millimeter watch. And if I try and measure just at the top, where the bezel is, you get about 37. Um, doesn't wear anything like a 37, don't get me wrong. It wears like a 39. Um, and it wears nice and thin on the wrist. Uh, it is under 10 millimeters, so it tucks in under shirt cuffs, no problem. Uh, the bracelet is 20 millimeters, and it tapers down to 18 millimeters. And the included clasp itself was back up to 19 and a half. And the bracelet, uh, again, is a little bit thinner too than most bracelets. It measures 3.3 millimeters. And I can also show it to you next to the much more expensive, about double the price, is the S100. Uh, S100, totally different animal, but you can just see side by side. And you can see the seconds hands are almost aligned perfectly. This is another amazing watch, the S100. But uh, this is just a quick comparison side by side. Different animal. Um, of course, head to head, you know, this one probably won't have a chance, but... Uh, um, I, I do really like this one. This is still my favorite titanium watch because it cost half of what the S100 did and I just love the color of the dial. And it's got these silver indices. The surrounds on the indices is silver, so are the hands. Unlike the blue on the S100, which just kind of kills it for me. Uh, I do prefer this dial and this handset. Wrist shot on my six and a half inch wrist. Fits just absolutely perfectly. No overhang. Uh, the fit again is because of the clasp that I changed out. And you can message me if you really want more details, but it's a Casio Edifice clasp that you can find on AliExpress. But yeah, there you can see watch sits perfectly tightly, neatly on the wrist. Just love wearing it, just disappears on the wrist. Uh, such a great underappreciated daily wear watch. Maybe not underappreciated. I do see tons of reviews on eBay for this watch, so clearly people are buying it. And I can just, before I forget, I can just tell you what the clasp dimensions are. So it's a 18 and a half on that side. And then this opening, I believe, I can get into it is eight or nine millimeters nine millimeters yeah so you want one with nine millimeters on this side and 18 millimeters on this side and I mean you might be okay with this the stock uh, clasp yourself but uh, I did swap it out uh, and that is possible to do all right guys hopefully you found this review helpful for this casio lineage uh, if you liked the review please do hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more reviews thank you